Dudes and dudettes, how are you guys? This is Chazzy and welcome back to Disneyland Adventures and today we are in, well, sort of in, kind of going into, like halfway there to New Orleans Square, you know? We got the Pirates of the Caribbean right over there, the attraction, it's a really cool thing full of pirates and stuff, you know? And also, oh, by the way, I am dressed as Prince Naveen from The Princess and the Frog. I believe that movie was released in 2009, you know, uh, it was the very first, uh, it was the very first, not the very first, but the, the first uh, traditionally animated Disney movie in a very long time, you know, so I'm just running around checking a few things here, you know, uh, this is the little band here that can actually be seen in that movie, the little, I was going to say mariachi, but nobody here is Mexican. I forgot just how big this area is, you know, I'm pretty sure it covers a pretty good, uh, pretty good uh a good surface area here but i wanted to start there because that's where i finished the last gameplay so that's kind of how it is i'm going to be taking two photos now of things to show you guys how this mechanic works you know you basically use this here to take photos of like little tourist attractions or little spots you know in each area and this will accumulate secrets you know this is not one of the most magical areas in the park but i still like it a lot you know i was a very big fan of okay that's three out of six so wow i really did not work a lot in this area here right Holy crap, 25 out of 25 trash cans. I was unaware that I was so close to getting all of those. That is cool. So, Karen, what useful advice do you have for my audience today? Snow White is... Wait, I'm helping Snow White? Okay, if you say so. Hey, why don't you pay Stitch a visit? Did you know that the landscaping at Disneyland includes more than 800 species of plants from around the world? With roughly 17,000 trees and 100,000 shrubs, it's one of the most extensive botanical collections in the Western United States. Beautiful, too. Thanks for stopping by. Well, thank you for existing, Karen. I really, really love Karen so much. Normally, people aren't a big fan of Karens, right? I think that the, the name Karen in America is synonymous with things that you aren't really a big of a fan of and that really insufferable person. Okay, hello to you guys, too. Let's take another photo here of the band because apparently it's one of the items that I need, but it's only going to show up if I have my camera in hand. I love this little Mickey Mouse camera. Okay, let's take a photo of the band members now, the Jambalaya Jazz Band. Yes, this is literally cut directly from The Princess and the Frog. It was a really good movie, man. You know, I was just, I kind of grew up in the era of the Disney Renaissance, you know, from like the eight, 1989 to 1999, you know, 10 years of a lot of really amazing movies. We got like Tarzan, The Little Mermaid, Aladdin, you know, it was a really good, good uh, era for Disney and got the cafe over here. So this, okay, that's Frontierland. So I'm already going to the wrong place. Okay, but this is still, uh, this is somewhat, this is like already New Orleans, right? It looks a lot fancier and chic. I'm pretty sure that in Disney, oh, I already, ha I already found another one, I think. Oh, the hidden Mickey. Wow, how did I never spot this one? It's freaking gigantic. Okay, well, I guess that works too. How did I get up there? Do I have a drone or something? Okay, so that is my seventh out of 12 hidden Mickeys in New Orleans. I just wanted to stand in it to give you guys a little bit of perspective. This thing is freaking huge, not really hidden at all. Now let's water these flowers here, you know, because essentially these gameplays, every time I go to a different area, it's a lot of chores as well to get these things wet. One out of eight, okay, at least there's not a lot. It's not ridiculous like the 25 freaking trash cans, you know. So these should be bunched around here a little bit, you know. So stage door flowers and here this hidden Mickey I know I already got because it's not really hidden at all But why don't I just made make sure it's a uh, yeah I got it or else it would be kind of like a glowing blue a little bit These are some very big windows and very close to the floor too. That is crazy collect the coins You know, I, I think that the game still gives me items to buy every now and again because you know I, I can go to the store and buy new merch whenever I finish a level or something the the thing Okay, why is this game taking me to the different? Okay, you know what? Let me set a different objective here let me it opened up my adventure journal, which is the first time you guys are seeing this in these gameplays. I have these objectives here, you know, different characters asking me to do different things. But I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, make the helping the help Tiana one the adventure trail because at the very least it's going to keep me here in New Orleans, you know. So there we go, right there. Don't need as you guys can see, there are four different characters here, and it's not a very big area, so this might not be that long of a gameplay. So let's go back to the park now. At the very least, it's going to keep me isolated here in New Orleans. It's not gonna try to take me somewhere else, you know. I will take the fireflies to her. Actually, that's why she wants to talk to me, isn't it? You guys want to meet Tiana, the princess, the the very first ever black princess in Disney Canon. 
Well, of course I have a moment to spare, my dear. Come on. Oh, look. Ray's relations have come to help me out. Thank you so much for finding them. Yes, I miss Ray. Spoiler alert, the little firefly who dies. Can I get a little high five from you or something related? <laughs> wow, the princess that actually gives me a high five. And a hug? Oh, you're so sweet. Oh no, you're sweet. Why did her mouth not move when she said that? Autograph? Oh, what a sweet thing to ask. I'd love to. Well, thank you so much. I look like Naveen. I'm literally dressed I'm as the so guy. I'm so honored. Thank you. Okay, but now before I leave, I would like for you to honor me with a dance, my princess. What movie is that from again? I forgot. So long now. Okay, well, thank you, Tatiana, and I got a pin too. I got Tatiana, wow, Tiana, sorry. I got a new pin, and uh, did the game just tell me to take a photo? Oh, it was probably with her. Okay, well, there are a few more areas that I can find. Oh, I forgot about this guy. This is the fortune teller. Can I, Wait, I can take a photo of the fortune teller? Oh, that's a thing? Wow. Did not know that was... Can I do a pose? Can I, like, do something that... Nope, never mind. Okay, well, at least I got the photo with him. There is a way for you to pose, like jump up and stuff, you know, or use the connect to do a bunch of wacky things, but I just don't have it. All right, so let's keep running around a little bit. Ooh, a map piece. This is for Captain Barty, who you guys are going to meet very soon. Did I already get this one? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, it's not glowing blue, and it's like freaking obvious. Some of these hidden Mikis are not really hidden at all. I am so in love. Wow, that is the closest this kid has ever gotten to the camera in any of these gameplays. I am really in love with the idea of hidden Mikis in games that involve Mickey and Disney characters, you know? Uh, Kingdom Hearts did the same thing, you know? Oh, that's 10 out of 10. Okay, cool. Another secret unlocked. So, I, I this is like a uh, very different from... Shut up out there, you goddamn parrots, or whatever the hell that's... Uh, Shut up, goddamn bird. I don't, even, I don't even know if you guys can hear. Maybe I'm just angry for nothing. Uh, did not get this hidden Mickey, so let's go ahead and take care of that. Come on, angle it properly. Yeah, there we go. Okay, nice. All righty then. So that one was like right in my face and I still missed it. I think that's the last one, isn't it? Nope, eight out of 12. I'm confusing with the last, the last gameplay in Adventureland. So this is a stark contrast from what we had been seeing before, right? So now instead of the, the crazy, fantastical, okay, another one. I, I definitely got this one though, right? Yeah, it's not glowing. I got it. How did I miss the other one then? So all the other places have been kind of like fantasy and mystical, magical, and this is just more grounded, you know, New Orleans. So it is okay. It's like a very uh, stark contrast, but it still feels good. And here's Prince Naveen. Can I take a photo of these guys too? This is like a mini game that I can do, which I'm not a fan of, so I'm not gonna do that again. But you guys are about to meet good old Prince Naveen. If these birds outside can shut the hell up. Come on. Ah, Tiana's palace, it's really taking off thanks to her marvelous cuisine and the amazing music, no? You know, but this week, Lewis is at a Gator family reunion in the bayou. I have heard that the Jambalaya Jazz Band plays very well. Would you find them and lead them in, uh, how you say, an audition? You know what, man? I can't promise that because it sucks, but he gave me another objective, so at least it's going to keep me here in New Orleans. But can you give me a high oh. five? Come on. Yes. Indeed, it is a party. But it will be even more when I can give you a hug. Oh, such affection. Uh, it maddens my heart. Yeah. I just, I just realized that I had forgotten. I am literally him. I'm like, I'm cosplaying as the guy. Oh, you flatter me, but I will sign. All righty, For come on now. Friend. I love how the book was floating there. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Just stay loose and feel the music. Okay, now we're dancing. We are dancing. I am Prince Naveen. It is not slime, it is mucus. Okay, Abenaza. Oh, and uh, remember to find us a new sizzling hot jazz band. Who the hell is Abenaza? What crap is that? Okay. Oh, here we go. Another photo. That's what I was looking for. All right. Shut up outside, you goddamn parrots. I'm going to freaking throw a rock at those goddamn birds, man. Come on, take a photo. Naveen is still talking to himself in the background about how vain he is or whatever. 
All right, so, wow, that is five out of six already. I should be able to find the last one if I just go here for a quick bite. You guys want to eat something? I was about to say it's deserted, but nah, there's a family here. And I'm just like a random kid running around unsupervised by nobody, no adults, and this camera is going to kill me. This camera is making me sick. Yeah, I'm going to take a little break here by the park and just chill, collect some coins, you know. Do things that I already have, you know. I've got pretty much all of the items here. There's really not much else to do. But I want to show you guys a little bit of it, you know. Climb me up here to New Orleans Square. That is actually how I go to Frontierland, apparently. wonder why they're both the same, uh, same thing there. Huh, it's weird. So the, the game right now was pointing me towards the map pieces for Captain Barty, which you guys will meet, who you guys will meet very shortly. This is the Haunted Mansion portion of it, you know, where I can do the attraction of the same name. I already got all the flowers and plants and stuff, you know. Very nice. Damn it. What is with this camera, dude? Attention to detail. I didn't photograph this yet? Well, let's go ahead and take care of it right now then. The, the little Mount Rushmore thing here with the president's faces. Okay. There is a mini game that I can do, which I already completed before. I don't want to do it again. It's a little crooked, man. This kid is not a good photographer. Yes, and that is it. The grim, grinning blaster, ghosts. Right? So no more of the lights. photos to take. So that is another secret for me. I will not go on that attraction yet, but I wish I could go in this and just drive around a little bit, you know. Okay, the game is clear. The game clearly wants me to do something, right? It wants me to find the next map piece. So you know what? Why don't we embark on a little journey and do that now? Just so you guys can see how it is, because this game is clearly not going to... What is that? <gasps> Another hidden Mickey. This one I had no idea was here, man. That is crazy. That's going to be 9 out of 12, right? Wow. That is a very cleverly hidden one. This is why I love hidden Mickeys in these games. You know, like I was trying to say before, before the damn birds interrupted me. Because they're everywhere and they can signify achievements, you know, other miscellaneous items, you know, collectibles. Here's another map piece. Okay, you happy now? Two out of four. You know what? Fine. Where's the damn, where's the next one? Take me to the damn map pieces so you can stop annoying me with that. Then when you guys go to finally meet Blackbeard, what was that? I just saw a blue thingy. Is that another hidden Mickey? Wow, it is. Holy crap, man. I didn't know that they could be so close to each other. There's one like literally right here. All right, cool. I'm on a roll lately with these gameplays, man. Finding so many secrets as I play, you know, just feels so good. Another hidden Mickey there for the collection. Of course, if I just grab a YouTube guide, I can find all of them quickly. But I just, I, I kind of prefer to do it this way to challenge myself just a little bit, you know. Because they're really not that hard if you stop to think about it. Let me go this way because I want to grab some coins because I'm a freaking greedy little bastard. Okay, let's find the next damn map piece. Okay, where is it? Move. Get out the way. Come on. Okay, here's the other one. Now there's one more, and where the hell is it? Okay, point me in the right direction so I can go to talk to the damn captain and finish this other quest here. Okay, that, that was easy. All right, now let's go meet him. You guys are going to meet Black Barty. I call him Captain because he is a pirate, you know, so let's go and meet this bastard. Oh, holy Captain. It would be rude of me to barge in on you. Go first, if you please. Well, don't mind if I do. Every piece of the map, you say. We're sure to make our fortune now. Mm, perhaps some uh, precious cargo fell off the HMS Columbia as she sailed along. I suggest you find the spot and cast your fishing line. Perhaps you'll hook a treasure. Okay, well, I got an achievement that said that I completed 50% of this area, so that's good. To a fortune in treasure for both of us. And now a little hug. A not so ferocious bow from a not so fierce pirate. Uh, but it's, uh, let's keep that to ourselves. Apparently not, but can I get your little signature here, matey? Sure, ye may have the mark of the notorious Black Barty the Fierce. Well, that be awfully it kind of you. This for such a time as I'm truly famous. You're already famous now, buddy, but I have no idea what movie he's from. <laughs> no idea. Just follow me steps, lad. You'll have it in no time. Yeah, I think I already did. It's really not that hard, honestly. Well, thanks for that. How about it then? Bring back a bounty if you can pull it in. I've been to many a All right, many so a fish time. the treasure from the this water near HMS Columbia. That seems very doable. I can do that right now. I just got to get my trusty fishing rod out and uh, go over here. And now let's get the fish. Okay, there we go. The task is complete. All righty. 
That is a lot of money. Holy crap. Oh, I'm keeping this. That's me, booty. <laughs> All right. I just got to return the message, not the money. So he's just going to get the message. I know. I'm going to keep all of the coins to myself. Oh, yeah, matey. Oh, what did he find? A vast. Tis but a rusty old key in some sort of scroll. Well, let's have a look. Come back when I've had time to decipher it. All right. Farewell, fine friend. And wish me good fortune. Maybe here in this board, my fortune... Right. Come back when you can decipher it, you say. Well, I'm going to come back later, of course. Not during this gameplay. Let's wander around just a little bit. There is one more character that you guys haven't met and I want to introduce you to. You know, he's like completely unrelated. Let me just walk through here again. Let's take a little shortcut back to the Haunted Mansion thing. There is... Uh, I think he's a little... Uh, He's not really connect. Maybe just maybe there's another hidden Mickey around here somewhere. Okay, now I can talk to Barty again. Maybe I will. You know. Oh, there he is. This character here is not exactly connected. Let me just go ahead and grab this real quick. I think I already have, but it, it's prompting me again to do it, so I might as well. That character is actually he kind of sort of belongs in. He belongs in Critter County, actually. He's sort of like. Uh, He's not really connected to this area here, but he is in this area, so I'm gonna have to talk to him, you know? Or maybe I'll talk to Karen first, or maybe I'll try to take a ride on that boat first, you know? I don't know, I wish I could, man. That would be really awesome, but, uh, alas. Oh, hello. Well, hello, Karen. You're actually just the girl who I wanted to see. What do you have for my subscribers? Here's an amazing fact. Walt's brother Roy bought the very first admission ticket to Disneyland. He paid one dollar. Sounds like a bargain, doesn't it? It's always nice to talk to someone about Disneyland. Goodbye now. God, man, Karen is just awesome, isn't she? She is literally the encyclopedia of this, you know? I was going to go talk to Bri Bear over there, but he technically belongs in Critter County, you know? Critter County is this area here that I will cross into later. You know, he is a critter. He's an animal. So let's just stick to New Orleans here, you know, the square. And I'm going to go around just a little bit more and show you guys a few other things if I can. There might be a few more nook and nooks and crannies, you know. <gasps> churros. Oh, my God. Churros at Disney World. I did not finish. I swear, if that stupid voice talks about plundering one more time. Wait a second. I have to talk to Barty, don't I? Oh, crap. Okay. Why don't we finish on that note then? Let's talk to him. Will not operate when coin hopper is full. If locked, contact maintenance for key. I confess, this message has me confounded. Uh, perhaps Fortune Red can shed some light. Best be on your way. Seek out that soothsaying scoundrel. Ahoy this is turning into one of those escort missions, man. This is getting annoying as hell. But okay, I will, uh, I will humor you, and I will show you guys an interaction with a different character, that guy who I took a photo with earlier. Let's see what he has to say about this. When my special recipe is so good, it might just make you cry. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> when they say too much of a good thing... That's just what they're talking about. Um... What a boon of luck for you. This fortune belongs to the pirate that turned it loose. What I wonder is, will you give this treasure to Black Barty? Do you think it'll turn the tide of fate for him? Or will he lose it, just like he always has? You decide. Okay. Off you go. And hurry to Black Barty the... <laughs> fierce. Uh, am I supposed to? Do I have the choice of actually keeping it for myself? Or is that going to be a moral lesson where I will become even more corrupted than the pirate when it comes to money? Let's just try it out. Gold! I'm swimming in it at last! Perhaps me curse is lifted true! Oh, thank ye, Fortune Red! And thank ye, friend! This be for you. I've a sad tale to tell ye. I took me fortune and went back to Puerto Dorado. There, I finally got me hands on that good ship, the Wicked Wench. But a strange wind came along and carried away all the ammunition. Me crew mutinied on the spot. They called me the least fierce pirate they'd ever seen. 
Okay. Cast off once again and find me them 12 pound cannonballs, matey. Hey, this is getting that frustrated, like but at least I got a pin. What the hell do you want now? Okay, guys, well, this video is getting way too long already, so I'm just going to end it here, you know. And I stopped right at the entrance to Critter County. That's where I'm going to go next in the next gameplay, you know. I'm going to go next in the next gameplay. Way too many nexts there. But I'm going to turn back. What the hell's wrong with you, kid? Just walk around me, damn it. I'm going to be... Is that kid supervised? Because he's just running around like a moron. I'm going to be uh, turning back and talking to Briar Bear over there. But, of course, as you guys have come to... to as you have grown accustomed to in these videos, I'm going to change outfits like yet again and change it to something a little bit more fitting with the theme of the next area. So you guys are going to see that soon. I really hope you're enjoying this gameplay series because it really is a lot of fun. I really do like it a lot. You know, I'm going to go in there with maybe the magic mirror, perhaps, you know, Critter County. I'm going to go with the with the fishing rod. I think it's going to make a lot more sense, you know. But OK, guys, that's it for now. If you happen to enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a like and also subscribe to my channel because I release videos every single day. And while you're at it, hit the notification bell too so you can know exactly what time I upload. I'm coming up on the end of this amazing series and I'm not bored yet. I'm just getting started as a matter of fact. And that's it, guys. This is Chazzy signing out for now. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Roll the outro screen.